Hello, Santa Clara. This is Santa Clara News, as you can see, um, reporting around Stanford University. My name is Jim Helper, Jr. I'm Savannah. And I'm Daisy. Today, our first report. This man eats a very salty pig, but this report <laughs> is very interesting because if you look into the pig, if you really see what this pig means, you understand the importance. If you see those eyes, there's only <laughs> one person it can resemble. James Harden, <laughs> the point guard of the Houston Rockets. The beard will go back. Don't you see it? <laughs> but how? Well, James Harden is definitely known for his complaining. <laughs> He is very salty, but with enough salt gathers up, he mutates. <laughs> on to our next story. So, we have gotten some research from some scientists on the healthiest way to stay alive. Mm. And that is to stay inside all day, eat as much stone food as you can, and stay away from all exercise whatsoever you do. We actually got some news from the oldest woman on the planet. She is 547 years old. What? Um, she said she did all those things, and she is still alive and healthy today. Sadly, she did not get a picture of her, though, because she talked to us through the spirit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On to our weather with Daisy Go. So, I am Daisy. So, here you can see we are coming from Santa Clara. And we'll have, now that we're heading into springtime, we'll have some nicer weather along the west coast. Um, once you get into the Midwest, you'll have a little bit of colder weather, but it's not too bad. And then you'll move up onto the east coast, and it's getting a little bit warmer, but along the north, it's still pretty cold. Here you'll see that we just had a warm front pass us by, and uh, the same with a high pressure system. Along all the north, we have some cold fronts moving through and a few low pressure systems. If you're along the north coast for vacation, you may want to bring an umbrella because you will have some rain coming through. Along the east coast, there's another warm front going through, so you'll be lucky if you're going on vacation down there. You'll have some nice weather. Here you can see, within the next 24 hours, these two fronts move and connect together. All the rain sort of moves down a bit, so be aware of throughout the days where you're going, because you'll get some rain throughout the country. We still, we're still in some warmer temperatures, you can see, with our warm front. And same with the east coast out here. As you can see, then as the next day goes by, these two move into an occluded front. So it'll be a little bit warm and a little bit chilly. Just be aware of the weather out there. You'll have a high pressure system on the west side of it and a low pressure system on the east side. You'll see this new warm er, warm front coming through from the west coast. And this warm front is sort of leading from the east coast. And then there goes that warm front, and here comes in this new big one. So, for the next three days, on May 8th, you'll, the temperature in Santa Clara will probably be around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The cloud cover will be probably about 10%, so not too much chance of rain. The wind speed will be about 9 miles per hour, and the chance of pre precipitation will be only about 5%. The dew point will be at 49%, or er, 49 Fahrenheit, so unless we get that cold, we won't have too much rain. On May 9th, the, te the temperature will be 69 degrees Fahrenheit, the cloud cover will be 10%, the wind speed will be 11 miles per hour, the chance of precipitation will be 7%, and the dew point will be 57 Fahrenheit. On May 10th, the temperature will be 66 degrees Fahrenheit, the cloud cover will be 20% chance, the wind speed will go up to 14 miles per hour, the chance of pre precipitation will be a bit higher at 19%, and the dew point will be at 49% Fahrenheit. And that's all that we have for you today, so thank you. <laughs>